everyone, so I am so sorry I've been so MIA. Like, I have no good excuse for why I haven't been making videos. I mean, I have the general, I've been in school, I've been in cheer, but at the same time, those aren't good excuses. And I have done, well, it was my birthday too. My birthday was tied in there. My birthday was on September 19th. So I have a huge collective haul from um, my birthday. And I've waited a little while afterwards because, like, I've gotten gift cards in the mail from family members. And, like, I've, I don't know, just been doing a little bit of shopping since then. And so, um, right now I'm going to do the cosmetics part of my haul because I've got enough cosmetics to do its own separate haul. And if I were to combine cosmetics and, like, miscellaneous stuff, this would be a huge video. So I'm just going to hop right into this. Um, first, um, I don't have two nail polishes from Ulta. On September 20th, which was the day after my birthday, Ulta was having a buy one butter, get one free, like, deal, because, like, all through the month of September, Ulta was having, like, random deals, and this was the only one that caught my eye, because Butter London is my favorite nail polish brand, and normally they are $14 a piece, which is very, like, it's not very pricey if you look at the terms of, like, Chanel and Dior, which, like, I don't own. But, like, on terms of, like, normal nail polish, like, it's just, like, it's, like, five bucks more than OPI, which, I mean, the quality is great, but if, like, I don't know, I don't normally buy butter, but I love butter, I've done a whole video on butter, and so, I love butter. So, this one is the color that I wanted so bad. It was the Old Bill, and it's, like, a coppery, you can't really tell, but it's, like, a pure coppery color, like, it's just... Like, it looks like you're putting a shimmery penny on your nails. And it's gorgeous because, like, you don't normally see colors like this. Like, you can see some types of colors like this. But, like, only, like, truly good nail polish brands will be able to, like, make it such a nice color, I guess. So, this is my favorite. And then, this was, like, a secondary option. I originally wanted, like, a smoky green color. Like, almost like a black with green shimmer in it, I guess. But they didn't have it, and so my mom, because my, my mom got these for me, um, she got me a blue one, but I already own a blue one, so I took, exchanged it for this, which is a purple, and purple is my school color, so I am happy. Um, it is, and I've worn this, it is a chunky glitter, so it peels off so easily. Um, it's almost like a pastel purple that's creamed up and mixed in is thick 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 chunky purple glitter it's really hard to explain if you haven't seen it and it is no more weighty katie which i believe is talking about kate pimpleton the princess or whatever um because this has been out for a little bit like a little while but i think it was re-released in the new fall winter collection but i don't know the details about that but i know i've seen this before it was released and it is it's kind of weird looking but it's so much prettier on the nails so i'm glad i got it it almost looks like you mixed um purple food color and glue and then stuck purple glitter in it. It's weird to describe but it's pretty on. So I got those two. Um now let's go to Sephora. Um first I rebought my mascara which is a makeup forever smoky lash which is the best best mascara I have ever 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 worn in my life. Um I can't like emphasize how good this mascara is. Normally, um, people talk about, like, only buying drugstore mascara because buying, like, expensive mascara is ridiculous, and it is. Like, this is, like, I think, like, a 24, 22, like, early 20 mascara, like, dollar was, and that is ridiculous because, I mean, I used my last one, like, to the brim. I used it way more than three months. I think I used it, like, six, maybe, which, I mean, isn't too bad, but, like, you're not really supposed to do that, and, um... So I bought a new one because I was like bone dry of the other one. And it is like here. I'll open this for you. I've been using this. So like I just threw it back in the packaging for this. Um, it is legit makes you look like you're wearing fake lashes. I'm like. You like probably won't be able to see like the wonderfulness of this. But it is truly a magnificent mascara. Um, then I got the Happy Birthday Beautiful. Philosophy shower gel, which I love. Philosophy. Um, get really tired of the scent because I get like I have like leftover from last year's birthday and stuff. Like I don't know, but I do love philosophy. Um, this um, Too Faced palette it is Naked Eye, and I've wanted this one for a while. 
I have Romantic Eye and I have like Sephora's 500 per called Best Of. But like this one, my friend had and I loved it. So I've wanted it since like midsummer, and so finally I got it myself. And these are, I believe, like 35. And it looks like this. And these are my favorite kind of colors to wear. Like, just like light, smoky gray colors. Which is why I loved it so much. Like, the lighting's totally washing it out. But, like, and, like, the colors, like, the names are so freaking cute. But, yeah, like, it's going to wash them out. But it's kind of just, like, a bunch of shimmery, taupey colors. Which I love. And, like, silvers and stuff. Oh, and it comes with how-to cards, which most Too Faced palettes do. And then it comes with a brush down there which I'm not planning on using because it's part sponge part eyeliner brush so it's not very good that down there but it's still a cute little add-on you never know when you might need a brush so there's that which is gorgeous um my favorite blush right now oh my gosh I've had this since my birthday so I've had this for like 10 days or whatever and it I wanted it for a while because I think it is the perfect fall blush it is Anars Oasis Like, of course, you're not getting a good idea of what it looks like right now. Um, pretty much, I own Deep Throat, and Orgasm is the most popular blush. So you're going to know both of them. Well, you're not going to know Deep Throat, but it's become popular lately. This is, like, in the same family as both of them. Like, if you were to put three on the scale together it would probably be deep throat for lightest then orgasm then this like it has the same range of color but it's dark like it's almost like a dark rose like a dusty rose with the gold sparkles that orgasm has so it's super pretty and super flattering and I didn't expect it to be as pretty and flattering as it is but it is truly magnifique so I've been wearing it like every day and it shows up wonderfully because sometimes like even if you do buy expensive blush the payoff and pigmentation is not as good as it could be but this i mean i've been able to tell i'm wearing it all day like it is beautiful like it is one great product also by nars i've got the coco cabana ooh highlighter um i've had a sample of this for quite since like april like i've had a sample here let me find this for you a little jar of this forever i've been using it sparingly too but, um, I've been loving it. Like, I've talked about this before. I know I've talked about this before because I butchered the name. Um, and it is a beautiful product. And then I was excited that I could get it. It was $30, which is freaking expensive, which is why I haven't gotten it before, despite the fact that I love the sample I've been using. But, um, birthdays give you an excuse to buy overpriced makeup. And, um, I forgot... Oh, if this has been able to last me since April, how long is this going to last me? Really? Like, so much comes out, though, when you, like, go to put it on your finger to put it on your cheeks than what you want. So, I've been scraping the excess, excess, excess back in here. So, um, yes. Oh, dropped it. That's that. And then I rebought my foundation, which is Makeup Forever HD Foundation. And I am color 120, which is pale. Um, it looks like this. I'm still working on my last one right now, but I was almost out. And I knew, like, for, like, a $40 foundation or however much this is. I know it's around the 40s. Um, I know, like, it's better to get it, like, around your birthday while you have money rather than, like, wait till you're almost out. So, like, got that. And it is a great, great foundation. It legit makes your skin look flawless. And, like, it's worth the money. And, like, I figured, because I used to use Lancome foundation before this, that I figured that, like the life expectancy of it wouldn't be too good because I remember I felt like I ran out of Lancome foundation all the time but I haven't ran out of my previous Makeup Forever and I know during the summer I switched it up between my Makeup Forever and Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse or whatever but um still regardless I did wear this quite a lot in the summer and I've had this since the spring so it that was an ugly way of saying so sound but um so, like, I think this is, like, so great. And, like, I've been the same color, like, for all this time. So, whatever. But it's a good product. It's a good, it's a good product. Um, two more things. One more thing. One more thing. Um, I got a Dior lip gloss in the color 886 Mauve Accent, which I love Dior lip glosses. Um, this is kind of like a fuchsia color. 
Ooh, it's sparkly. Hey, light reflecting. Um, it's hard to describe. It's like a sparkly fuchsia. In the store. Um, but I love the yellow glosses. I have five, including this. Um, but one of them's completely gone, so I probably shouldn't count that one. But it's still over there. Um, it's they're smooth. The brushes are so. Here, I'll swatch this for you. The brushes are so freaking phenomenal that like. Ooh, you can see it, like, right there. We, um, the brushes are so freaking phenomenal that, like, it feels like you're putting, like, I don't know, like, butter on your lips or something. I don't know, not the nail polish, but, like, legit, like, they're so smooth. So, um, it's worth the money. Like, it's $10 more than that, because these are 26 now, I believe, maybe even 27 And I remember when I, last year, when I bought the other ones, because I bought them all around the same time last year, they were, like, 24 And so they, like, went up so much, which is why I haven't bought them, because... And paying 27 for lip gloss is asinine, but, um, it's a great product. And actually, I, will, like, when I, I bought, um, a majority of that stuff, like, together, but I bought the Too Faced palette and the Cuckoo Cabana or Illuminator or whatever, um, together. And when I went to get those, I think I actually was not going to get the palette and was going to get another Dior gloss. But since they didn't have it, I got the palette instead. Which, I mean, if you're comparing a palette to a lip gloss, there's something wrong with that. Um, tis that, tis that. Lastly, MAC. And I was surprised that I went crazy at MAC the way I did. Um, I freaking, like, I like MAC. I've always liked MAC. Um, I'm a MAC fan. I'm a MAC junkie. Whenever I have extra money, I'll go and buy a MAC product. But it's just that. Like, they're pretty inexpensive for a high-end brand. And so I can buy MAC quite a lot, like, I can buy MAC more than I can buy the $27 lip glosses. And, um, so I was surprised I wanted more MAC than Sephora. Like, that's really surprising. First, um, I went to CCO, which is Cosmetics Company Outlet, and I got two Tartan Tales pigment sets from last year's Christmas collection. And I have the third one, like, it's buried away. I have the third one, and, um, which is the red case, and I got that for Christmas from a friend last year. And, um, I loved it. I use it all the time. I continue using it all the time. Like, it's freaking amazing. And so, I got these two when I saw them. And I believe they used to be, like, 35, and these were 22 apiece. And my grandma got me one of them. And I got the other. And this looks like this. And it has, like, cool, smoky tones. And I have, I'm wearing two of these ones right now. So, they're gone. But these have cooler, goldy tones. So, yep, I was pretty jazzed about that because I like pigment. And these are, like, I believe these are better than buying full-size pigment because, like, full-size pigment are freaking huge compared to these. Okay. Actually, I have two of the same ones, which I'm holding up right now. I have these two the same, which are both Reflex Pearl. But, like, you can see the difference. And I've had my other pigment set forever and I've barely put a dent in one of the colors because there is one I wear more than others and like I've had this since whenever the Wonder Woman collection came out I think that was just like that was like February that was like forever ago I have the entire thing filled and I do use this like it's not like I just let it sit there I mean I use it like I use all my makeup just not like every day but like yeah whatever um eyeshadow very popular color satin taupe it was re released in the color correct me collection or whatever but i've been wanting this for a while because it is a very popular color and you all probably know what it looks like it is a very popular color it's like a very hard to explain it's like a mix between silver and brown it's a taupe like taupe is a color itself so i guess i could say that but it is original um paint pot genuine treasure treasure i went to two different macs to find this i fell so in love um, the paint pots have their own, like, new collection going on right now. Um, and this is such a beautiful color. Like, it's such a beautiful color. Um, it's, like, a dark brown with so much glitter in it. Like, the treasure, like, really speaks for itself. Uh, you won't be able to see this right now on camera. It's the big one. On camera, like, you have to see it in person because I fell in love with it. Like, I had to rant, run across the mall from the Mac store to the MAC counter at Macy's to get this. And it is worth the payoff. I use it all the time in my, like, outer corner. Like, it is beautiful. Beautiful. Um, 
Another paint pot. Don't like it as much. Still like it. It's from the same new collection or whatever. It is called Numbill. It's like a pinky peach shimmer shell color. Good as base. Not much to talk about that. Um, I got Creamy Bisque, which I'm wearing today. I love this color. It is, I've heard a lot of people talk about it before I bought it because I went like later on with the collection. And it is a great all over color or um, highlight color. Oh no. Um, it is like a creamy, it's like a shimmery, it's like, just like a perfect frost color. Like, it's hard to explain, but it's beautiful. And it is definitely, a, probably one of my favorite eyeshadow that I bought, despite the paint pot, but that's a whole different category, so I can say that it's my favorite eyeshadow that I bought. Um, it is a great eyeshadow, and it's definitely, like, sucks that it's limited edition. And I got Woodwinked, also a very popular color. Woo! And it is just kind of like a, it's hard to explain. It's like a, almost like a coppery gold. Yeah, it definitely looks copper in the swatch. So, yeah, coppery gold. Um, I'm trying to hurry right now. Um, I got a brush, and this is a great brush. It is $239. Was once white, now it's not. Then I got a lipstick in Milan mode, which is hot fuchsia pink, and it has chunks of glitter in it. It's kind of like the Dior gloss, I guess. See what kind of colors I wanted. And that right there. We only worn it once, but it was nice. It didn't, like, it wasn't as pigmented on the lip as it was here, but I've also, I also kind of, like, dabbed it on, so, like, I didn't get, like, hot lips because I worked to school. Um, Rags to, ooh, Rags to Riches Dazzle Gloss. I got this one a while back. I got this one before school started, so I've had this one. Um, it is a Dazzle Gloss I wanted for a while. It's just kind of like a cool blue. Not cool blue, like a cool pink with blue tones. I love Dazzle glasses. And then my favorite sugar rimmed, which I've been wearing all the time, because you can wear it like with gold tones, I guess. That's what I've been doing. It's almost like a clear with iridescent flux, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to have to like bend my hand awkwardly. You can't see it. Um, you can see the glittery flux. Um, that is it for my makeup collection. Not collection. My, ooh, ooh. My makeup haul. Um, Stay tuned for the etc. haul, I guess. Miscellaneous. Um, you can see one of them right there. Ooh, ah. There, we'll sit right there. Um, yeah, so just stay tuned. Expect more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, rate. You know what to do. Um, see ya.